Hi guys, Brett here with Nitro RC Life, and today in this video, we are going to talk about fuel scent. Okay, now I'm only going to talk about this brand uh, because this is the only brand that I have experience with. Uh, this is the Wild Willies uh, fuel fragrance. Um, and let me tell you that I've had amazing results so far. Super happy with the product. Um, so, you know, right here on the back, it says that, uh, you know, this bottle can treat 12 to 20 gallons of gas, 28 to 55 gallons of methanol, and 8 to 16 gallons of diesel. So, you know, our main ingredient, uh, you know, is nitromethane and uh, ethanol. And you know it's a it's a type of alcohol uh, fuel, and so um, you know it's it's a glow fuel, uh, kind of like diesel. So you know that this is going to mix fine. Uh, this stuff is very potent, and I haven't seen any real good videos on fuel fragrance, uh, you know, on YouTube. Not recommended to put it in your car or any fuel system that has a catalytic converter uh, that will clean the smell. Um, so definitely not recommended for that. It, I think it just end up plugging your cat. But one thing, uh, you know, if you do look around on YouTube, you are going to see people just dumping this into their tanks and uh, getting super crazy with it. Uh, you know, you can do that. However, um, this dries the combustion if that makes sense um, so like if you were to run one of these fragrances in an alcohol engine you know a alcohol only engine uh, you would need to add a type of uh, lubricant um, so this company sells uh, top uh, top lube right which is a lubricant to go with the deodorizer or odorizer uh, it's called um, we have so much oil in our fuel that I don't think it's necessary to add anymore. Uh, but I don't recommend going crazy with this. Uh, so I'm thinking, you know, the sweet spot. Uh, okay, so if you guys have ever smelt Traxxas fuel, it's got a really good uh, perfume to it. This bottle has a really strong perfume to it, even just holding it like this. Uh, you crack the seal and I mean, this stuff is potent. Um, there's like 60 different flavors, uh, you know, to choose from. But uh, where I'm getting at is that Traxxas has got a beautiful smell to it, right? And I kind of, you know, wanted this. RC Life 420 uh, had some, and I instantly ordered some uh, because I just I thought it was, you know, awesome. Uh, so I will tell you, do not mix this very heavy. Um, I'm getting amazing results with about 50 milliliters per gallon. And so that's not very much. Um, I am using a, uh, you can use, you know, so I use this to add oil to my fuel when I'm breaking in engines. You could also use it, you know, for this. Um, but I'm using just a medicine cup. Uh, and then that's just a medicine syringe right there, uh, you know, for children's medicine. You can get them on Amazon, super cheap, couple of bucks. Um, but that's what I'd recommend on mixing. Um, you know, you could do a smaller amount, you know, like a fuel bottle if you bought multiple flavors if you wanted. Um, but I, you know, I'm not into getting crazy and trying to mix all kinds of things. You know, I mean, this is going to treat like 20, 25 gallons for me, probably, if not more. Um, so, I mean, this is going to last a really, really long time. Um, but if you guys are interested in trying this product, I don't have, you know, any promotion or anything like that. You know, it's, I'm not affiliated. Um, but it was about 20 bucks shipped, uh, you know, on Amazon, which is a little more than their website. You could definitely get it cheaper on their website. Uh, they also do a one ounce bottle for just $5. So if you wanted to do multiple flavors, that's what I'm going to do next time. Uh, you know, when I get rid of this, uh, or when I'm ready to try other flavors, I'm going to just order the one ounce bottles. Um, but yeah, great results, uh, with just 50 milliliters per gallon. Uh, I've only ran it in my rustler so far. Uh, I can't wait to try it in the savage in the big block where it really chuffs out some smoke. Um, 
So I will keep you guys updated. I'm sure in the next bash video, you guys will hear me talking about it. Um, but so far, super, super cool.